Morning everybody. Quick update on the homestead this morning. We are, we have manured the garden and we're gonna till it in. Now, I used horse manure. It wasn't really aged. Some of it still looks like this. It's stinky and I put about 16 truckloads on. Jeep truckloads, which is about eight real truckloads. But I know a lot of people are gonna say, you have to age it before you put it on the garden. And you're right, it's better. But tilling in unaged manure, still just as good for the ground, I think. I have never noticed any sort of detrimental effect to the garden with tilling in unaged manure. Other downside of horse manure, you can get grass, seeds, they make it through the horse and into your garden better. But to be fair, my garden's a weed bed that happens to grow vegetables. That's just the dirt I have. And manure in the garden's better manure than manure on the wish list. So I was able to get right there. So 16 truckloads took me about a week and a half at two or three a day. And we're gonna get with it and get it drilled, tilled it. Got the tiller warming up. As you can see, everything's pretty dead. Turkeys are out and laying, all the birds are laying. The bees didn't survive the winter, but I think they were queenless when it went into October, so they died pretty quick. So let's get some tilling done and I'll show you the after picture. All right, so we're back halfway done. It's blending in pretty good. I had to stop. Only complaint I have with the BCS tractor is this. This guy right here controls your locking differential and it'll come loose this i cannot get that tight enough to prevent this cable from slipping so if there's somebody out there watching this that knows what i can do to keep that from slipping and having to readjust it all the time please let me know i'm not a super mechanic and learning this as i go anyway just wanted to i took a break it's getting nice out here as you can see i'm no longer in a long sleeve coming together pretty good i mean it's fluffy light material it's gonna have to weather off good month or so now because where i'm at here in montana we get about 90 days of growing season so i got lots of time for this to wear in because i'm gonna do this i went over it twice i got some real hard spots i'm starting the one downside to tilling besides the no-till people tell you and, and it is true is you can develop a hard pan underneath where you till so i might have to come back in between and rod fork it to break that up this year been a few years might have to do that we'll see maybe i'll do that over the summer between the rows and just kind of move my rows back and forth all right get out of here again I'll show you when i'm done all right there it is pretty good stuff next step will be to make the raised beds the raised mounds till it again and get ready for summer <laughs> 